It was that generally human beings do not really appreciate what they have until they are about to lose it. <sighs> anyway, when it comes real down to brass tacks, what really can you do about it? So let's drop all this drama. And, uh, what's for lunch? Surprise. Yes. Dear band. Who thinks that because I'm above 60, he can nominate me as he chooses? Or that I'm past being admired or having my own admirers? You are reverting to your old comical self. Who would be an admirer of a 60 plus year old like you? No. Your friend, the doctor. Our family doctor. Colin. So, Kali still hasn't given up on you after all these years? He's still hankering after you? Apparently. The last time I went for my checkup, the examinations concluded. It told me that my lips are still in right shape. And my boobs are still very much upright for someone of my age. So, Bolao, do you still think there is nothing I can do if you continue your illicit affair with your PA? Did you tell my wife? Yes. You, you, two timing. Oh, oh, oh! You want to fight? Yes. Apparently, I, I, I want you, you to fight. You forgotten the number of times I knocked you out in our university days, and I'm going to knock you out this time yet. Oh, oh, oh! C come outside. Come on outside. over a girl? Boys, them, our father and his friend, our family doctor. Yes. What girl? A near 70 year old mom.
Reflections A constructive reflection of our past makes us come to terms with our present challenges and how best to tackle them. No, Shagun. You violated our bond. And I did warn you. I warned you not to break my trust in you. Just you listen to me. If it happens to me, me, I won't be like Aunt Jemima that sits down for a discussion. There won't even be anything to discuss. Sincerely, I do really want to forgive you. Joe. Sir. I've got good news for you. Yes. Our client has approved my proposal that you should be seconded to them as their chief operating officer. <laughs> wow. Now there is no need to thank me. <sighs> You've been a conscientious officer here and uh, it's a way of rewarding you. Thank you. I hope you know that this puts you in the category of the top echelon. A whole house, two new privileged chiefs that you will choose yourself. What? Endless overseas trips with uh, hefty overnight allowances. <laughs> and of course, annual overseas holiday for you and your family. What? <laughs> I, I, I can't thank you enough, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, but uh, there is uh, something you need to do for me. Uh, maybe the fan. Yes, anything, sir. I'm listening. Um, Joe, can we cut out these... Um, you calling me sir, sir, sir every time. But you're my boss. Oh, boss. <laughs> there really isn't need for that anymore because with this new development, we are virtually on the same level. And uh, <clears throat> it should... <clears throat> Joe. So, why are you avoiding me? Uh, apparently to give us more room, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, there is no need for any room between us now. I mean, this new uh, development puts us on the same level. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's resolve this quickly. Let's resolve this quickly. <clears throat> there is a, a meeting in Dubai that we are both uh, meant to attend and it's all connected with this job, new job. I hope you don't mind. I don't mind uh, attending the meeting with you. But I, I, I would like my husband to go with us. No, his bills on him. <laughs> we usually do things together. Even your official work? He, yes, I mean, um, you see... No, no, no. There is... Listen, madam, madam. There is no need for us to beat around the bush. Now... This trip gives me the opportunity of uh, introducing you officially to our client and uh, his associates. And uh, whatever time is left for the socials we all spend together. So I do not see where your husband or my wife fits into this. All the accommodation has been arranged and uh, whatever official activities are left is strictly for all those who are directly connected with this business. Uh, Joe, you are not a kid. I expect that the underlining message will be clear to you. I, um, what you're trying to say is that without this meeting and trip with you, I'm not likely to get the job. Um, I doubt it. I doubt it. <sighs> but 
uh, at least do I have time to think it over, like sleep over it and get back to you? Well, if you think it's necessary. But Joe, hmm. top jobs like this are meant for people who are ready to play the games as required. Why? See, I don't have an alternative. What I see before me is not a top job, or a lure into an adventure I'm not ready to take. I understand all that. But well, shouldn't you learn from my own experience? So that there is no way I'm ever going to cheat on my husband. Uh uh. I want. Giving up on a chance of a lifetime because you want to remain faithful to your husband? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> See, sweetheart, my husband, Shego, is worth it. Trust me. Anyway, if you say so, I say so. <laughs> Careful. No, I mean, I have forgiven you. Ah, ah Auntie. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> you see, this our accidental meeting is just a table from God. Oh. I've been looking for how to connect with you. Come on, you know that just give me a call. Uh, God has proven himself. <laughs> yes, uh, first, I wanted to come and say thank you for that tough but succulent uh, sofa that yeah. you sent to me through my daughter. <laughs> I saw it in the market and I know you would love it. Uh, thank you, brother. thank you. Yeah. Uh, and there I was. I was like, ah. This our wife is a very generous somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this tough and succulent uh, stockfish. And my daughter was like, well, she has to be good at something. After all, she couldn't give us an issue. I, 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 I know that is rather cutting it tough. But it's the truth, isn't it? <laughs> eh? <laughs> but auntie. I, I know, I know it is God that, uh, that gives children. Abby? Eh, hold on, hold on, more. But Auntie, can't we discuss this in a more private place rather than this? No, I wanted to have a one on one with you. Uh, Auntie, maybe we should choose your place or mine. Ah, your place. Your place, okay. None of the family members want to come to you. Ah. <laughs> None of the family members want to come to your place again. Not with the aggressive way your husband reacts. Anytime the issue of your barrenness. Well, that's the truth. When the issue of your barrenness is brushed up, the way you react. Ah uh ah. -uh. You two think about it now. After over two years of, of, of marriage, you don't think you it deserves to be given an offspring, eh? If he doesn't know what to do, eh? The family will help him to get it. Excuse me. Hello, my love. I'm at the supermarket with Auntie Ruth. Oh, <laughs> the same old story. Yes, in a public place, and there are passers by. Oh, okay, darling. Ma'am, your nephew would like to have a word with you. Mm, tell him I will pass. Just give him my message. That if he does not want to do anything about your barrenness, the family will help him to do the needful. 
Oh, thank you very much, Auntie. Mm -hmm. I think I will take my leave now. Oh, oh what about your shopping? Ah, it, it can keep. You see, any time I see you or Shebi, what crosses my mind is that when am I ever going to see his children? Shebu is my older sister's first son. And he's more or less like a son to me. So you can understand my pains on this matter. Honestly, Auntie, I do. <laughs> and I assure you that my husband and I are worried about it too. That means we all have something in common, Abby. Uh -huh. Yes, Ma. Uh, Ma, I can defer my shopping. Let me give you a ride. Eh? A ride? Give me a ride. The ride that you have been giving to my nephew all these years that has come up to nothing. Now you want to include the family members and you want to start giving the family members a ride. Osho, I don't want a ride. Just give my nephew a child. Give him offspring and let the family be happy with you. Eh? Don't give me a ride. Thank you. Osho. But I can't forget. You really, really, really hurt me this time around. You hurt me badly. Missy, <laughs> help me. I've been to the hospital. They won't let me see my husband. They won't Calm let me see Shaggo. Calm go. down. Missy, <laughs> you're the only one I trust now. You're my cousin. Please tell me. What exactly is wrong with my husband? What? I wish this was our home video. But doctors can talk without regards to people's emotions. But this is real life. Hey, I know now. See, cut off all this long grammar. Tell me, what is wrong with Shego? Tell me in a language that I can understand. I'm afraid it's a bit critical. You see, what is the definition of critical? What is your own definition? Oh, God almighty, why are doctors like this? He may be needing somebody to donate a kidney for him. <laughs> Shagun needs a kidney. My Shagun. God. God. This is beyond me. Wait a minute. Let me see. He needs one kidney. Yes. <laughs> and I have two. Yes. If Shagun needs both, I'll give him. With all my heart, I will. Okay, I will give him one. We will need to run some tests to determine if we'll be able to donate one for him. Ah. Am I not here? Hey, the test you... Let's go for the test. I want to come back to you. So we can resume our life and give our cup its dead back. Fine, I'm not kissing you. Oh. Talk of the devil. My dad is not a devil, he's my lion. Talk of the lion then. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi Cop. Why are you not in bed? Waiting for my good night kiss. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my nine-year-old darling. Nine-year-old? Where did you get that from? It's a new age logic of your dear cop. And I'm sure you don't want to hear that tonight. <laughs> hmm. By the way, they look perfect on you. Yes, can't think of a better way to coat your shirts with my fragrance. So the intruders won't think you're up for grabs. Hmm. Very ingenious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take the cup upstairs and freshen up. Trust me to bring your dinner. Your loving wife, Kat? Yeah. You bet. <laughs> but you've broken my trust. You've shredded my heart. Be safe. That's okay. It's alright, Auntie. Now that you have donated a kidney, it's really not advisable for you to attempt to getting pregnant again. You will be endangering your life if you do. It's not advisable. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? 
Yes. I won't be able to have any more kids. It's not advisable. <laughs> oh, yeah. You destroyed my faith in you. Okay, you have not with your ex-wife in the bid to save your business. So that you are telling me now that you have not seen anything wrong about what he did to No, no, no. But what your husband made us understand, your mom and I, is that it was the business that necessitated that dinner date. Mm -hmm. Of course, I told him that what he did was wrong. Perfect. Business troubles? Well... And I was hoping we would get together on lunch or dinner tomorrow. It's my birthday, you know, remember? Oh, yes. Oh, it will have been nice. But unfortunately, I'm meeting with the new owners of Universal Merchandise tomorrow. Universal Merchandise? Yeah. yeah. You? You mean you need a contract from them? Of course. Hmm. Edwina, you know what? You're my ex-wife. And there's no point hiding anything from you. I really need that contract for the survival of my firm. I know. I know you really need it and you're going to get it. Come. Yeah. You do that when you're upset. Oh, I'm a little bit upset right now. So you know each other? Oh, for quite a while now. We were actually husband and wife. And we, Shego? Yes, we were. But why didn't you tell me yesterday when we met that you're the new owners of Universal Merchandise? I saw no reason why it couldn't wait till this morning. Well, I think, I think that should make the meeting a smooth one. Uh, ah, if, uh, um, excuse me, Mr. Hyatt, boss. I don't see myself presiding over this company when my husband, ex or current, is clamoring for a job. So you're saying... Um, if you guys will excuse us for a while, I would love to have a personal chat with my husband. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So? So? Oh, come on, Shegun. You know, today is still my birthday, and I would love to have dinner with you. Without your ex wifes support, we could have somehow managed to get by. Shegun, why? A constructive reflection of our past makes us come to terms with our present challenges. <laughs> <laughs>